Hey everyone, fanboys, fangirls, let's gather some seriousness here. No more uh, joking around. And uh, I know I have a very brash attitude most of the time. That's because I'm having a good time and I'm enjoying the company I'm with, which is you guys. And some of you I know very well. And I'm always joking around. Boys and girls, uh, meeting, gathered here. Tell me your, your top 10 Dior's. And here are mine after uh, months of contemplating and switching out. Here's me. Wanted to get started a little earlier when the sun was coming up, but I didn't have the idea to do it now. And sometimes you make your coffee and you and you uh, get inspired. You probably know what I mean. What is that? Is that my top 10? Is that Bobby's uh, top 10? Yeah, it is. It is, and we'll elaborate on it. Um, took me a while. First of all, I love all these, and there's another thing I don't like. I have, uh, I believe I have 23. I don't have a lot, I don't have everything. I have 23 bottles of Christian Dior, and most of them all I love, so. How do you do a top 10? Uh, well, I'm, I'm giving you my best. Um, here's number 10 and here's number one. And uh, I laid them all out for you. And it wasn't easy. Number 10 is Dior Home Sport. And I had this one in that spot or around that spot. And I kept on thinking about DHS and do I wear it more and do I like it more? And it's, it's masculine, sexy, powdery. So I, at the last day, I, uh, I replaced it. I put DHS there and I love it. And that's the 2012 version. Love the bottle. I love that neck. Look at the red. Number nine, Queer Canage. Smoking leather. Not so easy to wear. So it's, uh, for, for me, um, a crowd pleaser kind of guy, Bobby. I am. Uh, love the dry down. And uh, the opening is very challenging and uh, I, I, uh, I'm amused. I get, I get a, a real big kick out of it. Number eight is uh, my signature musk or my signature. I'll be wearing it a lot more all the time when, when it gets uh, warmer. I've been just wearing these ambers lately because it's winter. And that's uh, Millie Lafray. You can't get that. I, uh, my opinion on the quality and then how I love to wear them and how, how good they smell, it all factors in uh, to what is, uh, you know, your top 10. It's kind of ambiguous. Ombre Nui, I was uh, putting that on the back burner these past year or so because of uh, my screaming love of Feb this past year and my greater appreciation. And these were my two my earliest Dior's are like Fev, Ombre, and DHI, which is uh, right here. And as far as I'm concerned, well, you'll see. Yeah, it could be in this list and it can be very high up in this list. And then one, two, three, four, number four I have, could be my number one. And months ago it was my favorite perfume in the world when I finally got my Fahrenheit Absolute. It's just so fun to wear. It's sweet. It's got a big hint of regular Fahrenheit, which is right here. And this could be here. So 
everybody you have Fahrenheit just make believe I'm just saying regular Fahrenheit EDT um, for absolute and one two three four five and a number five position one, two, three, is Amitza one of my great acquisitions maybe the greatest of last year past five years I've known about this didn't think it was possible to get it uh, amber little incense a little bit of freshness uh, and a little sp spice a little what cumin or coriander or something like that a little funkiness but overall just a great composition and uh, it's great to smell and Eau Noir in the number four position. This is a riot. That's just fun. I, I, maybe he threw caution to the wind and just put together this Francis Kurt John and just say, hey, I'm going with this. And uh, it might be a little too artsy, a little out of the box, but I'm going with it and I love it. I agree. This is my small bottle of this. <laughs> and number three position. Heck, it could be number one these days is Fev. Mostly all have smelled it. I love the powder powderiness that runs through the Privé line, through mostly Dimashi. This, this, uh, this, this, everything. Savage. What can I say? I'll always love it. And it's the EDT. As you're watching this, please look at your own Dior collection. Girls and boys. And uh, please let me know how much you have. And... Uh, how you rate them and one through four or five or one through three I, I just can't make a clear distinction but I'm, I'm keeping this up top it's a Dior Homme Parfum representing the Dior Homme line mostly DHI is is a designer masterpiece and I'm just taking it one little step masculine these last couple of years and enjoying DHP more. And there's my number one. Um, let me know what your number one is. Spray a little of this. Um, little spritz. These DH atomizers, like you all know what the Savage atomizer is. It's like fuel injection, fine spray, and it's boom. But in terms of more butter and more ease, the DHI atomizer, it's like butter. It's just as little as you want and as much as you want. And when you spray the depressor the whole way, it, uh, it gives you plenty. So, original Privé line, all of them, except technically this the CD is, is not like this one, so a little different, but meets is meets, right? You can only get it in Paris. My Bois d'Argent is uh, of the quote-unquote Maison era. In a nutshell, there's my top 10 Dior's. Uh, everything mixed in, the Privés and the designers. And it wasn't an easy task. Um, this will change, it has changed for me in the last couple of months, but in general, this this is how it stacks up. Um, this, couple things I just couldn't put in there because just tens of tens of number right so uh, 
let me know what your number one through five is at least really like to know and uh, what you think of Christian Dior going forward which is a big topic so hope you enjoyed it um, it's trying to be serious and a very very tough task there's my scratch paper list going through different iterations of the top 10 and like I said the oral intense could be in there Fahrenheit could be substituted for me with Fahrenheit Absolute. I just love regular Fahrenheit EDT. And uh, Bar de Jean is a masterpiece. I'm just, I put in the DHS because probably just because I wear it more. Summertime, springtime, uh, high class. Um, dress nice and sharp, casual. Sunday brunch, that kind of thing for DHS. But number one, Dior Homme Parfum. Uh, it came out in 2014, I think. And it's available today in the 2020 version in 100 mil, same for formulation. So I strongly recommend you pick one of these up if you're a uh, Dior boy, and if you haven't yet. And everyone else, I would strongly recommend that you sniff it. But must have, must have must have must have for uh, Dior boys and girls with that I thank you for your time um, and I really appreciate it as always so this is Robert signing out here in the morning on a calm morning out in the middle of the ocean take care and be well too